So my favorite mod, and what is in my eyes basically the best mod for Fallout 4, just got a pretty big update. I'm pretty excited to show you just how awesome it is. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys five of the coolest mod releases over the past week for Fallout 4. These are releases ranging from PC to Xbox One, and they're all obviously pretty cool. But before that, I actually do want to mention something. For no reason, over the past two days, my videos were super suppressed by YouTube. They got like 60% less views than pretty much anything else I posted over the past few weeks. Not entirely sure what the deal is with that, but either way, if you haven't checked out those videos, you can find a link to them in the little eye or at the end of this one. Or alternatively, if you want to turn on the bell notifications next to the subscribe button, that'll ensure you'll actually see my content and get alerted when I upload. But with that out of the way, let's just jump into the first one. So the mod that was updated is see-through scopes. This in and of itself is pretty remarkable considering this mod is over two years old at this point, two and a half years to be more precise. I've covered this many, many times on this channel and almost every time I talk about it, I talk about how it's in my eyes the best mod for Fallout 4. By default, these scopes in Fallout 4, you enter into that little black screen and it takes you out of the game and I just think it's really badly done. See-through combat scopes allows you to stay immersed in your combat and this update's basically going to totally over all the visuals, that ranging from the actual scopes themselves, as you can see on screen, if you've used one of the previous versions of this mod, this new version looks a lot better, and there's a lot more custom content going on when you look through them. In addition, there's just kind of a fundamental rebuild of this mod. The way scopes actually work on the back end has been totally redone, and for me, using these things in game, it just feels a bit smoother. That might totally be the placebo effect, but there are also tangible differences between this one and the old version. A lot of the reticles for some of these different scopes have been updated and just look a lot cleaner and better. And in addition, even right out of the box now, there's going to be built-in support for some more custom content through the form of different mods by community members that otherwise wouldn't have had support from this. All around, it's an awesome update. I think it makes a great mod even better. And if you haven't downloaded it, I would highly recommend doing so. Then we actually have an update to another mod, and I know I don't typically cover mod updates, but this is such a cool one that I wanted to. Satoja Mob Armory is something I've covered on this channel in the past, and basically it got expanded to include a ton more of the equipment in Fallout 4. What this is going to do is actually add in new and unique modifications for a lot of the vanilla pieces of equipment. But the thing about these modifications are they're really going to change these pieces of equipment to look like something totally different. Your AR can turn into what is effectively an LMG, you get the SMG to finally really feel and look like a Thompson, and even adding semi and fully automatic receivers to some of the pieces of equipment that never had that as an option before, in addition to visual changes to kind of justify that. I've kind of always said that the equipment offerings in vanilla Fallout 4 were pretty lackluster. The customization system was out of this world and provided an awesome framework, but the actual core components there were a little bit boring, and I always used mods in this category. Well, I would say this mod totally changes that, gives you way more options, and it actually allows you to configure some of these in totally new and unique ways that make them feel like different pieces of equipment. It really feels like you changed what you were using. If you haven't used this mod thus far, I would definitely say with this new update, it is worth a download. And to be clear, it covers a lot more of equipment than just what I'm showing you. So you have the Brotherhood of Steel Medic Battlesuit. A Again. Yeah, I actually showed you guys this one, and for whatever reason, it was pulled off of Nexus shortly after its debut a few weeks ago. So if you missed the original coverage, it looks like this. It had a few different camo options, and all around, it looked pretty cool. I've been showing you this suit for quite a few months in upcoming mods, but this time around, the major change is, one, we actually now have a male variant of the suit, so I know a lot of you guys do like using male characters, and this is actually usable by you now. But in addition, we also do have a few other texture options in addition to the default male variant. If you want to represent the railroad on your back, you can do that now, and also the Minutemen were added, and both of those I think look particularly cool. This outfit for Fallout 4 I think has a more modern look than some of the other things you do see. In addition, I feel like if you actually look at the male version and then look at the female version, there's quite a bit of a difference between the two. It's almost like you're getting two outfit mods for the price of one. Stuff like this is always super subjective, so if you like what you're seeing, I'll have a link as to where you can download it down below. The re-release definitely brought quite a few new features, so if you only have the original variant that was uploaded previously, I would definitely say it's worth a re-download. 
Then we do have Synth Revamped. So this is a really awesome mod. There's all these awesome screenshots on Nexus that make it look beautiful, and even in game, it looks pretty great. Just for whatever reason, in my game, it's not working correctly. I spent like a half hour to 45 minutes trying to figure this out, and I eventually just gave up. Basically, all the bodies of these new and custom synths are totally revamped, but their faces aren't. Either way, you kind of get the idea. More or less, what this is going to do is give a total retexture to these synths, and actually will apply to Dima and Nick Valentine if you download those optional files also. These textures were actually inspired by the Detroit Become Human game, but they also give me some like iRobot vibes, if you guys remember that movie from quite a few years ago now. Either way, I personally like these changes. I would like them a little bit more if their faces were changed also, but it'll likely work on your game, and if you actually want to see a video of them working, here's something from the mod author. I'll have a link to this full video down below on her channel. And again, all in all, I really like these kind of overhaul mods. I like that it's not just kind of making them look better, but also making changes to them. Many of us have played through Fallout 4 many times and have seen since more than enough times along the way. Actually having something that looks new and refreshing could be a cool thing to do on a new playthrough. And last but not least, for the port report of the week, we do have military MREs. What this is going to do is actually place MREs around the Commonwealth, many of them actually being in military bases, and if you're playing on survival, this is particularly valuable as they provide themselves as a food source. It's a pretty cool thing, it's fairly lore friendly because realistically in Fallout 4's world, this is something that would have occurred, and I believe MREs actually appeared in some of the previous Fallout games. Somebody ported this original mod over to Xbox One. I'm pretty sure it already was on Xbox One at some point, but then it got deleted or something. But either way, I would just download it, save it right now. It's really good, again, for survival playthroughs. It's really useful to find those box of MREs, then you have them, and it can buy you quite a bit of time as far as food goes. Either way, it's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. As always, again, I thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. But actually, before we end things off, last week I told you guys about a giveaway I was doing with some settlements. You get t-shirts for free, you just have to pay for shipping. If you guys missed that video, but do still want to participate, basically just retweet this tweet. I'm going to end the giveaway today. So around 11 p.m. to midnight tonight, I'm going to pick three random people that did retweet this, and I'll PM you those codes on Twitter. It's pretty awesome for the guys over at Sim Settlements to do this, and if you just want to support them and their mod creating skills and want to pick up a t-shirt out of pocket, I will have a link down below where you could do that also. But with that, I thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all next time. Later.